We are back to our show again. Good morning, Kuwait. We are moving for our, we call it, third interview segment for today. Right, Sarah? Right, Aziz. So after this inter interesting introduction, we are glad to have with us today Abdel Razak El Gallab and Talal El Hazami. They are players of the Kuwait National Team for Invention and Scientific Research, Kuwait Air Sport Club. So hello and good morning to both Hi, of you. Hello. You're most welcome, and thank you for joining us today on our show. Good morning, Kuwait. We'd like to thank you to be the second place for, we call it, now the World Cup. Wow. So it's like mm -hmm. a great achievement for you. I'd like to wish you all the best for 2022. Thank you. So take this one also, mm -hmm. Abdul Razak. So Talal, this kind of big achievement, and you're working with your colleagues, and you are the youngest among too many competitors there. How was the experience? Tell me about the competition. It was uh, a very great experience, and the competition was uh, a very fun learning experience. Mm -hmm. We learned a lot going to the convention because, like you said, uh, the comp convention is uh, filled with people much older than us, much more wise, with lots more information. And they're all specialists in their own fields. So it was very interesting to learn about what they have to present at the convention and uh, what we have to learn from them. So we have to learn, we have to know also, Sarah. We have to know. So, Abdel Razak, tell us more about your winning project and how actually it distinguished us, distinguish actually it, or specialize it from other projects, Abdel Razak. Uh, it is a loner pace. It makes like the people live at the moon, which, yes. uh, which have like all the things they need. Yes. Um, the oxygen, the water, the food. Uh, so it's like uh, a full project with everything they, the, the, the people need to live there. Uh, also, we use the e-bot. It's an Kuwait invention yes. uh, made by Dr. Nasr Al Khaldi. Uh, it is, it's more easier and more cheaper. Uh, so all the projects was made by Kuwaiti things. Mm, by Kuwaiti things. That's so amazing. So let's check what actually is this, Abdul Aziz. Uh, it's, it's an e-bot kit. Mm -hmm. It have lot of sensors and cables. Uh, this is the cables uh, and the sensors have lot of sensors. Uh, ultras uh, ultrasonic, uh, ultrasonic yeah, yeah, and okay. the button and the LDR, mm. and this is the similar of it, uh, the Arduino. Microcontroller. Yeah, uh -huh. Arduino, but it's more uh, difficult, and uh, m uh, most of the students, uh, maybe they will have uh, problems with it. Yes. Uh, it have very it's very difficult in uh, the coding. So mm -hmm. we used all the, uh, all the uh, projects with the Ebot uh, invention. Wow, that's really something we're all proud all of. All project with Ebot invention yes. because I am electrical engineer. So mm -hmm. used to be one of my projects during in the university. So yeah. you did like an Ebot technology yeah. when you put like some of the cables with the same microcontroller. Well, we are very proud of mm -hmm. Thank Now you. back again to Talal. Above 1,000 people participating in the event. Too many high educated, master degree, PhD, student, college students, and you are there participating in the state of Kuwait. How was like you're interacting with the other people from all around the world, the participants? Uh, like I said before, it mm. was a very fun experience because these people, like you said, master's degrees, bachelor's degrees, and PhDs, so they are all specialists in their own field. They mm. all brought something to the convention in the hopes of winning, of course, like us. Um, uh, and there were many interesting inventions, like I learned a lot of things about many different uh, things in different fields also. So, so mm -hmm. different fields and they are interacting. We see already a pictures when you already got, to, you won the second. And you hear like too many, we call it high ranks people participating in your booth, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're talking to how many, like how many days you are participating? Isn't Hawra Mirza with you also? Yes, she's with us, but unfortunately I'm not here for this interview. Um, you can see in this picture right now, we are talking to the head of the government in okay. Tunis. So the number two in power yes. in all of Tunis. She came to congratulate us on our win. Amazing. Mm -hmm. See, these people congratulate the people who will come, they're proud of Kuwait. Exactly. And I, can, I saw like a picture while you came back or in the airport. Mm -hmm. So there's a tournament uh, outside Kuwait, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, when we came back to Kuwait, all the, all the, Kuwait, all the Kuwait teams and our families was in the airport at Kuwait. Mm -hmm. So they, ca they came for us to... Uh, uh, to to see encourage us. you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. So let's talk more about, uh, you know, the Kuwait Air Sports Club mm -hmm. and how actually it supports you in all your tournaments. Uh, first, uh, before two months uh, of the competition, they support us of everything, the equipment for the project. Yes. Uh, everything they pay for us. Uh, also, the place w w which we work of it. 
uh, they give us a, a big place to work in it and a coach. So the coach helped us uh, a lot in the project, uh, coding with us, help us to, uh, the uh, resources for the project. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a website for the project. So they have uh, they give us all the support for the for the for the project. For the project, that's amazing to support each other. Actually, supporting each other to achieve to win trophies, medals, and even a plug. Tunisia plug is there, Tala, right? The red one. Uh, yes, yes, that one. So tell me about some of the trophies there, like the red one is from Tunisia and even the trophy itself. Um, most of the trophies and medals here, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I think they're all from Tunisia, from the competition. Nice. Uh, it's because we won the... That one? Yes. It's from Tunisia. This one is for being in the top three mm -hmm. of uh, the competition in yes. Tunisia. And uh, also there is the cup for second place, specifically second place. The, the, the silver cup. Yes. yes. The silver cup. What about the big trophy down here, down the camera? With the, with the we call it the red, with the red trophy from the Olympic. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, this is from the STEM Olympic competition in uh, Jordan, which unfortunately I didn't participate in. It was uh, Adrazag and Hawra Mirza. So it's their achievement. And by the way, Hawra, she's my cousin. Really? Yeah, she, she's, my cousin, she's my cousin. <laughs> she showed me the picture where she said to me, like, through social media, like, Uncle, see, this is like my trophy. I won. I, grind. <laughs> I was very happy that time when I see the, your accomplishment live from there. So, uh, so greeting to Hawra. Yeah, so greeting to Hawra <laughs> also. So when he mentioned about the Jordan, so Abdel Razak already participated in the Olympics, Sarah. Yes, amazing. So let's talk about uh, the challenges. I'm pretty sure you face many challenges and difficulties while you are doing your competitions or while traveling outside Kuwait to do your tournaments. So let's talk more, more about that. Um, it's a lot. So uh, one, one of them, when we go at, uh, when we went to the Tunis, to, to the Tunisia, yes. uh, the first day when we arrived to, uh, to the hotel, after one hour it was the the people who came for us. Yes. So the competition started after one hour. So when we went to the hotel, uh, we, we can't like stay uh, to rest. Uh, so that, that directly we go to the competition to uh, to start the competition. Yes. Uh, we, we stay there uh, for the whole for the day. So it have maybe all of us after the, after the first day come sick. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it have a lot of difficult. Also, when we was coding the project, it mm -hmm. have a lot of time, a lot of problems. Because it's not easy to uh, to uh, do a project, the whole project in uh, one or two months, mm -hmm. uh, and we are student uh, school students, so we between the school and between the the invention, so uh, it it was like sort of lot of uh, difficult things we we, we yeah. have. You ha you had like some difficulties managing your time between yeah, yeah. your being a student and mm -hmm. being. A competitive, actually, a isn't competitor, it? A competitor, and student, and Abdel Razak, and, and also Talal, and even Hawra, she's after, after behind the scene. So this kind of competitions, you are basic too many challenges. You are working together. Like you are, the, most of the time, like after the school, you are mm -hmm. heading in the same place, and you are knowing each other. You have a team. You are working together. Tell me about your team, Talal. I know you're a big smile, like too many things. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, it seems you're already familiar with one member, Hawra, your cousin. Yeah. Uh, the team currently consists of four people. Mm. Me, Adrazag, Hawra, and uh, Muhammad Al-Bahar, who is also unfortunately not here today. Mm. Uh, the team is just four people, though we plan to expand. Mm. We don't hope it's just four people. We hope it's the next generation of Kuwaitis. So, inshallah, my brother, Abdurazak's brother and so on and maybe other people too anyone watching uh, at some point we will make the team bigger and take different people to different competitions around the world different people to different competitions so what is the importance to participate in international thing like you are every time you are gaining a new team you are cooperating together you travel together you compete what is the importance like you are participating you see experiences people acknowledging different culture different thoughts in your point of view at all uh, it's very important to uh, take teams to different places. Lena, this was a very, for example, uh, an invalu invaluable uh, mm. experience. experience. I learned yes. a lot about Tunis, about many inventions, mm -hmm. about uh, many different things that I can't learn anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So by going to this competition, uh, not just did I learn about inventions and different people in different cultures, I also learned how to work as a team, mm -hmm. which is a very important skill that we will need to develop in all children, all ages of uh, 
in Kuwait. So yes. State of Kuwait, they're doing their amazing also. Amazing. So what about you, Abdul Razak? How actually it added to, you, to your experience and your scientific knowledge actually while doing long international uh, tournaments outside Kuwait? Uh, it gave me a lot. One of the things when I uh, joined the university, they see the our CV. Yes. I then interview all, uh, all the the university there. Uh, the doctors, uh, they very uh, have like uh, amazing uh, things of my CV. Yes. So it gives us a lot of the CV. This one of the, the, thing, the, the things that added for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, this one of things. Amazing. I see here, uh, Talal, too many, like you see, in the last competition, too many medals. Yeah. Last competition, too many, too many plugs and also trophies. Why it makes you like this medal representing every one of you or everyone have an individual medal? Um, well, like I said before, the big trophy at mm -hmm. the front is uh, the, the trophy for the Jordan competition. Okay, yes. So yes. this is for the team, but it's through Hawra and Abd Razak's We're going to ask Abd Razak later <laughs> about the trophy. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, though the rest of it, I believe it's all for uh, the Tunis competition. Mm. So, it's a team effort. It wasn't singled out. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave us all certificates and medals, though I don't think they're here. Uh, this is the ones that were handed out just per person, per, per, per winner. Yeah, nice. So, uh, mm -hmm. we, we s uh, okay, so we can say all the time, like, uh, good times run very fast, brothers. We're well, very <laughs> proud of you. Yes. And we sure will be here again for the next competition to bring us more trophy. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much for Thank both you. of you, and best of luck. Thank you. So, dear viewers, all thanks and appreciation to our dear guest, Abdel Razak al Galaf and Talal Hazami, players of the Kuwait national team for invention and scientific research for Kuwait Air Sport Club. So, dear viewers, we reach the end of our episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. See you for the next one and have a nice day. Dear viewers, we reached the end of our episode today. We uh, ended with the very best way we call it in the end. It's MISC. It's a perfume with Kuwaiti achievers. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Yep.